everyone we're here in a pre-constructed house uh, it's halfway done you can see it right on the water we have the swimming pool outside and we are here with the contractor you're gonna show us around hey, so uh, the plan the floor plan for this is uh, gonna be the modified Yarmouth uh, one special edition that they did with this they went with 10 foot tie beams so compared to our ceilings would normally sit um, a little bit smaller. Also, in all of ours come standard, we do the tray cutout ceilings with give it additional depth. So they, uh, the client did decide to go with an upgrade. Out here, we'll have pavers all through the lanai. These are standard floor uh, pool model, as well as they decided to opt for a outdoor kitchen pop out. So they'll be, we'll be doing a full customized kitchen. Uh, with electric and water running to it. That was an upgrade that the client decided to do. This is sitting on golf access, so we also, part of their package, we ran uh, electric and water utilities down to the dock, so if they need to hose off oh, or nice. just anything else that they'll do. So they have electric right here at the, for the boat. And everything. Correct, so anything along your dock amenities will be able to just run right through. How far is the golf? So from here, you're looking at about idle speed. It's a 30, 40 minute commute out to Pine Island South. Yeah. And that'll get you out into open gulf waters. But through these canals, it is um, idle speed. So it does take a little bit of a, a, little bit of a ways to get out there. But you're looking about 35 minutes. Nice. Mm. So what we did with this one also, we did the half bath. The pool oh, yeah. bath. So yeah. it, it's the kids very, are coming, yeah, their friends. friends. It's yeah. a great way to close off the space just to uh, limit it for parties and be able to just use the bath. And yeah, like, we have uh, the option to extend this as well. Um, if they wanted to convert this into a full bath and we'll just push it out and and uh, be able to do that if someone was doing, you know, full custom home. Yeah. So, right. here so let, let's walk the rooms. All right, so here we have kind of like uh, a pool bath for the kids, birthday parties. Correct, and then this will be uh, room number one. All right. So if you, you'll see here as well too, like you'll look throughout, we add these uh, basically part of our package to make the outlets at you know height level with the backing. So if somebody's just gonna mount TVs, we don't do an additional charge for them to be able to have their uh, right. outlets inside. And this is to hang the TV yeah. like a... Mm -hmm. right, gotcha. And the outlets that way, it's out of sight, out of mind. You can get that clean look right off the bat and not have to do anything. Nice, yeah. Don't mess yeah, with it yeah, later just, on. Just, it, it's, a, it's a nice, you know, touch that's inexpensive for us to do at a convenience for the client. And it just, we've seen, we've, you know, hand-tuned different things that we, we see do well. And that's one of those. It's a nice accessory that, you know, the client doesn't have to worry it's about. It's a nice add-on for them. Correct. All right. So this is going to be kind of like a bath in between, be let's say two room. kids or something, mm -hmm. one kid here. So here, another bedroom, another, bedroom, another kid. And this is like a shared bath for both of them. A shared bath for both. Gotcha. This is pretty much what our standard's going to look like, that two, uh, three, two and a half with that half bath option. But like I said, if somebody wanted to make that full extension, and as you see in here too, in the uh, bedrooms, we have the tray ceiling cutoffs. So oh, it gives nice. those so ceilings high, high ceiling, height. yeah that height factor as well nice yeah it's not something we usually see no like but higher ceiling and, and, and it's co nice correct yeah. so even on an eight foot ceiling by adding that tray which you'll see also on the uh on the living room yeah area, yeah of course it gives it a height factor even on an eight foot tie beam but gotcha. it, now, as you can see i mean this is you know even where we're at now with 10 foot tie beams with the tray pop out it just gives it a lot yeah. grander look and nice windows large large size windows Correct. Nice. Uh, we do offer impact as an upgrade as well, but okay. they do come standard with uh, hurricane right. shutters to meet code as well. Right. So in order to get CO, yeah. they'll come with. It's important that. to mention that everything outside is brick. Yes, it's concrete block. Correct. Concrete blocks. Yeah. Concrete so block hurricanes and everything. It's yeah. So uh, safe. It's also for the insurance. I guess. For the insurance. Um, you know our our hurricane it, the the code here in Cape Coral has gotten a lot stricter. So uh, in order to meet code, I mean even the the um, the foundational we have rebars running down. I mean the, the standard has really gone up a lot more. Mm. Right. 
So, so all of the foundation is concrete as well, as we right. see. So if you were coming in from the garage, this is going to be your laundry room. So okay. we have the, the, the layout, hookups. the hookups for your, your okay. laundry and your, we'll do a sink as well. We do a sink option. Right. Um, we'll give the option whether you want to run it uh, here or in the garage as well, or we can do both. If somebody would like right. a little sink in the uh, garage as well. So a two car garage. Two car bay. We do, offer, bay. we do offer, you know, depending a three car bay. Yeah. Uh, in this area, since, you know, people are moving from up north, we don't really have too much attic space. A lot of people opt for the three car bay and extending the garage, which is a very popular store, option. Store and resale, and yes. And, yeah. and resale, yeah. or they have their side by sides, their four wheelers, and they're able to put it on there, or even make a workstation. Gotcha. So it's a very popular gotcha. option here. Yeah. Right. So here the living room, kitchen. So it's an open kitchen. Open uh, kitchen floor plan. Like I said part of our standard. We offer up to level three granite on some of our selections, and and like you saw, we, earlier, we saw the materials. You saw yeah. the material that would basically be you design your design day. You pick your backsplashes, your granite, your cabinet schemes. So we do offer quartz as a waterfall edge too. Uh, our our warehouse also has a large uh, option to pick from. Obviously, as you get into those level four, level fives, there'll be an upgrade. Or if, even if we go up to Quartz, we'll be yeah. asking for an upgrade there. But we I'll do see. offer, and I'll send some links as well. We do offer the waterfall okay. edge on the uh, Quartz or even on the granite to give it, you know, a little bit of a grander look. So, so walk walk me through the kitchen cabinets. Cabinets. So here is a large window. This is uh, your uh, breakfast nook. All right. So this will so be here. this right will maintain here. as an open space. Right. You sit here. Nice, uh, nice view of the water. Correct. All right. Um, we offer, you know, wine fridge options as well. If somebody wanted to convert a pantry into a wine fridge or just do a multiple coolers, so there's there's a couple of appliance package that the appliance package comes standard. But if somebody wanted to do a little extra and add a wine cooler, we'll integrate it into the. Uh, gotcha. So cabinets here. Cabinets here. Cabinets okay. base cabinets on the lowers. You have your uppers. Right. So the countertops come here basically and cabinets underneath Cabinet so the sink can, yes. all right so this is kind of like an island your island kitchen gotcha. exactly uh so what we'll do as well we'll push out the um the granite slab so you have a sitting area it's become very popular for this to be the seating area and then you have a yeah like high chairs, high chairs things like that very long and extended uh, piece of granite that we'll use so all right so t tell us a bit about the standards these days like, you know, buying a house in 2022 compared to the 70s. So, for example, electric is now not aluminum anymore. Just like, you know, for clients that are thinking, oh, there, there is a, a house on the market which is older compared yeah. to buying something new. So give yeah, us a well, bit insight about that. You know, that. as you can, you know, see from the picture alone that you have, we're using metal studs um, on the in, in, interior as well. But... The biggest benefit at the end of the day, what we see for the client is that we extend those warranties out. Yeah. And that's going to be your two, your one year bumper to bumper from the contractor. So anything goes wrong, short of you purposefully dropping a bowling ball pin on the floor, but anything goes wrong within that year that's covered under your yeah. builder's warranty. You have a 10 year structural warranty and then your 25 year. And then we do offer certain options on, on roof packages that offer lifetime warranties as well. Wow. Nice. So that, that's ultimately the biggest. It's, uh, uh, being in a, a state of mind of ease. Ease. Yeah, like ease. you don't need to worry yes, about correct. electric issues, plumbing, elect correct. like a roof, heating, correct. cooling. All of that, you have warranty. And, and through us, mm. you get the list of our subs. So if anything does go wrong, will contact you directly or they'll be able to make that connection yeah, right like there. That, there. For example, the AC, like uh, whatever Correct. carrier or whatever, it's your, yes. you, you have the uh, the warranty of that specific... Okay, yes, manufacturer warranty. Specific manufacturer. So, uh, obviously, build code standards, you know, are going to be different from the 70s. Everything code changes here, especially in Cape Coral, a, yeah. a lot stricter codes. So, as far as the build quality... And uh, obviously, you know, extending those warranties out to the clients yeah. has been everything brick and cement and, and metal, like okay. everything is uh, uh, weatherproof, basically. Exactly. And also the insurance saving on the insurance. Correct. Insurance is yep. cheaper when you have a newer house. Newer roof, you know, uh, right. if you switch to an impact, hurricane impact, and. Uh, hmm. 
So the sheet rock, the green one and the white one, of course, the, the green one for the wet areas, right? Yes. All right. And the rest. Okay. In what stage are you as to placing the sheet rock? So that's the great thing about once we get to this stage here. Um, yeah. Once we have trusses up, that, that's really where um, everything is starts at a weekly process as far as the completion time. Um, right now, once trusses go up to get keys in hand to get a certificate of occupancy, we're looking at about four months. So you come back here by the end of the week or even next Monday, a lot of these things will already be done. I mean, we have electricity already in place. We'll start drywall. Um, then once you know we get to that phase, we'll start tile, and then uh, it, it really starts going by just like on a weekly basis, like clockwork at that point. So this is truly the the, the most exciting uh, part of the project here. I mean, obviously there's been a lot that you can see has been done, but yeah. uh, this part here is where I have my clients on a weekly basis see a progress. Progress. It, see it the just, progress. It just flies because this part, all of our subs are already on standby. They're calling us, letting us know, hey, are you ready for us? Hey, are you ready for us? So th this is, to me, the most exciting part of it where we're, we're really almost to the finish line. I see. And large doors. Yes. Here is the entry. All right. All right. This is... All right. So, of course, everything on the outside. What do you do on the outside? Like uh, grass? We do sod and then we'll do brick pavers. We'll do a walkway from the uh, uh, from the driveway to the front porch. Yeah. And we'll do it in pavers. We do the soffit lighting as well. Um, this has a little bit, you know, with the 10 foot ceilings, this makes this entrance a little grander. Um, in here, I will note that this part of Cape is where we're at as well in septic. So your septic system is in there. All right but landscaping package. So we'll, we'll do the landscaping package with, you know, the, uh, the purchase price as well and pavers and a, uh, we have the option of obviously doing pavers, stamped concrete, or just a regular concrete driveway, depending on, you know, what somebody's looking to do. Here you have your entry closet in here. So here we're in the master. So this will be, right. so before we get to the master, actually here, this will be your entry. Oh, uh, the entry, okay. Your entry um, closet. Oh, okay, all right. So you enter the house from here, you have a large closet here, like? Correct, yeah. Okay, for coats, things like that. Even though it's Florida, so no coats. No coats, <laughs> but it still gets Maybe like a use, dishwasher, so. uh, not this, uh, like um, cleaning stuff or yeah, whatever, yeah. yeah anything. So then obviously the master gets the large view out to the uh, backyard mm, all right, or nice. to their pool area and they're, you know, just a real nice uh, flow, like path flow that can just get you a straight shot outdoor. Nice. All right. So this is, this is, uh, we are here at the, at the master right here with the view outside. All right. So this is also part of the master? This is all part of the master right here. You have a his and hers closet. Oh, nice. Which will do California cabinets on both as an option as well. Uh, I have, I've had somebody, you know, want me to put electrical in there for a humidor if they want it, you know, mm. something like that. Or if you right. want any kind of uh, electrical, we can put the outlets in here as well. And uh, one of the key features with this model will run our bathtub through here but the wraparound showers are it's a real big selling feature we'll do the grout um and uh, kind of use some of the options that you saw that we'll lay down on the floor as well uh real popular option with the his and hers as well with just a large uh, wraparound shower and then obviously we could do it all as one sink together in one piece with extra closet space or they've decided to separate the two and just keep you know her area a little bit bigger and his area a little bit smaller i see all so. right so so walk us through for a second here uh, let's say king size bed yes water view uh, tray ceilings again in here tray ceilings nice very nice we can see the central ac all over already in place so here walking here basically where is the hers. outside Doors here right a door here. all right door right here. Door here okay and then his and hers closet all right nice or it could it could also be just hers for both yeah so <laughs> um and 
bathroom. Okay. So your toilet. And then so your toilet and closed door as well. So this is your wraparound shower. The shower. With, we have the hook up there for a tub. Okay. It's one of our popular options, but if you don't want the tub, we can also oh. take it out. But so like a nice tub nice here, tub toilet. Here. So everything from so this is large. Yes. Oh, very yes, large. Very much yeah. so. It's and huge. then we have two sinks as well. So we can either do run up one sink through the entire wall or here they separated. They've done one sink there, one sink here with counter and lots of counter spaces there as well. Okay. So you can do same wall like we he's in here yeah, or separate. Can you can play with it. Yeah, we can play yeah. with the configuration. In, in this stage, basically, like before placing the sheetrock, you can play around with Yeah, we just pipes. need to know, obviously, for hookups, where yeah. uh, where our sinks are going to go. Play around. So we know. Nice. All right. And uh, like I said, here, some people, uh, even on the, I believe, here, they're going to go with a barn door. Oh, nice. So, with the railing. Yeah. Um, we offer that as an option. A lot of people like Barn doors are very nice, yeah. Yeah, so we'll do those as well. Very popular, and it's not a... Uh, not not too crazy for us to do anyway so i see um here i don't know if we talked about this but we have this separated as the den um very common workspace area we we have either two glass doors or just one glass door that we'll do i believe on this one we're going to put two um yeah, this is great it's like an extra it is small it, room it, yeah it is so you can if use you for whatever to make it into a bedroom we can add a closet and then you officially have a four two and a half yeah, so, so you just close the door and that's you, it. Because if you have a door, window, and closet, now you have a bedroom. A bedroom. So now you can officially list as a four, you know, three, four, two and a half. Yeah. Or we can take this wall down altogether and just make it formal dining. Maybe just keep this as a half. Maybe just keep yeah. this wall in here. Um, and if you want to keep it as formal dining, you can. Um, a lot of people like the privacy of being able to have an office, maybe a little den area, a study room, whatever. It's a lot up to the client. Like if, if they need an office, if they have an extra correct. small kid. If they have an extra. Or, if they, if or, they are just, uh, I don't know, retirees, they just want to open space. Correct. They don't so, need so many rooms. Exactly. Yeah. All right. Nice, nice. All right. All right. Okay. So this was the tour of the house. And we're now going to see more of our projects. See you guys soon.